Hello everyone, so today we are going to discuss about how we can manage the router. Example, if you are working in an organization where you have one router and you need to manage via telnet or SSH. So how we can do that one? So now what we will do, we will uh, like first we will learn the telnet. So what we are going to do now, we are going to enable the telnet on this gateway. After that, we are going to access this router from this PC or any other PC. Okay, so let's start. We are going to learn this in this video. So let me go. What I can do, I can take the my laptop. I will connect the console cable to the console port of this router. Okay, and then I will open my laptop. I will go to desktop. I will open the terminal. I will say okay. So this way I can access the router. Okay, this way I can access the router. So let's do the configuration. Configuration is very simple here. Same as we do in our switch. So first of all, let me check what we have here. I will write show run. Okay, I will check what configuration we have in this router. If you see here, I don't have, only we have the IP address. And NAT is configured here. Access list is configured here. Okay only I have this one so what I will do first of all I will create the user so user I will give username as admin and password as admin okay I am creating the local user after that I will do enable password I can give name ABC anything you can give I am giving enable password as ABC then we will enable the LAN VTY we are going to configure the telnet so we will write LAN VTY 0 to 4 okay login local that's all so we enable the telnet here i will exit this i will exit here i will show ip interface brief if you see i have this ip this is the ip to this router so i will copy this and we are going to access this router from this pc so let me go here i will go to the command from i will write here telnet i will put that ip okay so i am able to access I get the username so I will put username we put admin and the password also admin so I am inside if I go enable like password I need to put ABC after that I can go inside the router I can write show IP interface brief so it is working so what we learn in this video in this video we learn how we can configure the telnet we configure the telnet and we access the device remotely okay so this way in the real scenario you will take the device remotely now i am taking the telnet some organization they can use the, they are using the telnet but, but most of the organization is using ssh because ssh is more secure compared to telnet telnet is not going to do the encryption all the data whatever we are sending it is in the clear text in the telnet so what we are going to do we are going to learn in our next class how to configure the ssh but before going to that one i will uh, put the configuration here you can join our telegram channel in the telegram channel i am going to share this one so i will write here basic lab for telnet configuration in router what i done i done enable config t host name i can say host gw interface already i have the ip but anyhow i will write here i interface 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0 i will write no shirt then configuration what is the configuration you need to create in create the enable password so i will write enable password is abc i need to create the username so i will write username admin password password is also admin okay after that i will write line vty 0 to 4 then login local so this is the configuration and then save the configuration that's all so i will save this one i, I will share this notepad in our telegram channel so you can copy paste and also i'm going to share this topology also so very soon you will get this topology and this configuration file in the telegram channel so join the telegram channel in our next class we are going to learn how we can configure the ssh now we learn only telnet now you need to remember telnet is not secure 
SSH is secure. Okay, so you need to remember this one. Also, you need to remember because in the interview they will ask you like uh, SSH work on which port, port number. SSH work on port number, what port number, and Telnet work on what port number. So you need to remember that one. Okay. SSH work on the port number 22, Telnet work on the port number 23. You need to remember this one. Okay. So what I am saying in the interview, you will get the question. They are going to start from the basic. So they are going to ask you the basic question. SSH work on which port number? So you should say the port number 22. Telnet work on which port number? So you should say that port number 23. Okay. If you want, I will show you the putty here let me check I have put in this so if you see here when I select the SSH here see port number automatically it is coming 22 SSH work on port number 22 if I go here select here telnet see automatically port number is changing as 23 okay so you need to remember SSH is working on port number 22 telnet is working on port number 23 I hope it is clear. In case if you face any issue, you can write in the comments. We are going to reply you. Okay. Thank you. Bye.